Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Listen, this is Dr. Timothy Price the third. Yes, uh, coming into your space, hanging out with you for a few moments. Um, I am grateful for this opportunity to be able to come in and just come into your place, just to hang out with you while I'm in my place, where my children are running upstairs and my, my dog is barking. and I'm a husband and father. I have played many roles in life. I um, only have to go into all those different things, but it's important for me to let you know that I'm first, I'm a preacher, and my passion is the Word of God. So I'm here just to kind of hang out with you, just to talk with you, because while I try to steal away and get into the places where I, you know, can hear from God and plan and, and progress, move forward, study and look at some other things uh, besides music and besides uh, um, other things I've been preparing for. Um, I spend time with God. I really do. I really do. And God speaks. And there's some things I just want to share with you when I get an opportunity to do so. Maybe, maybe once a week. Uh, I don't know how often it may be, but nevertheless, uh, I want to share with you, if you allow me just a few moments to come and hang out with you. So I want to go to 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, and this is a very familiar text because it is um, uh, familiar to me because it's one of the things that come from one of the books, everybody know I'm a published author, self-published, as well as now a published author, and one of the books that I, I published was it's called After This. Um, and the Lord blessed me out of testimony to talk about this, and I ain't gonna go into too much in this because it's not important at the moment. But um, but the scripture that I want to share with you it is the basis and foundation from this from for this book, and really part of my testimony of the grace of God uh, that He has placed upon my life. So listen, I'm gonna read the King James version. It says this: First Peter five and seven. It starts this. It says, "Casting all your care upon Him, for He cared for you." Verse 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, verse 9, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Verse 10, but the God of all grace, who hath called us into his gl eternal glory by Christ, Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen let me go to the message bible um and share the same passage with you um it says this i'm asked to go to the sixth verse for the for the for the content of where i am at in these couple verses it says so be content with who you are and don't put on airs God's strong hand is on you. He'll promote you at the right time. <laughs> Live carefree before God. He is most careful with you. And watch this. He says, keep a cool head. Stay alert. The devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. Keep your guard up. You're not the only ones plunged into these hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on the faith. The suffering won't last forever. I don't know who needs to hear that, but I need to tell you this. The suffering, my God, won't last forever. It won't be long before this generous God whom we serve, who has great plans for us in Christ. Eternal and glorious plans they are. <laughs> that means they never change. He don't turn back with his word. They're going to stay the same. He will have you put together and on your feet for good. He gets the last word. Oh, yes, he does. My, isn't that an awesome thing? I want to stop right there because really that's all I got to say to you tonight. That's all I got to say to you right now is that God has plans for you. After these things that you've gone through, the Bible says, for the sufferings of this time, of the present time, are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. I need you to hold strong. Hold on, my friend, my brother. I know you feel like me. Have you felt like me before? You feel like you've always been overlooked. Feel like people didn't understand who you were. You felt like your past sometimes, it always seemed to cantankerize or mess up uh, the things that you're trying to move forward into. But I know this. Greater is he that is in you <laughs> than he that is in the world. 
Listen, let me pray with you real quick because I, I'm full. The word has been great. I don't have to put a lot of extra on top of it. The good meat makes its own gravy. And that word was something else. I pray that it touched you. I pray that the word of God will set you free, heal you, and deliver you. That after the sufferings that you went through, that God will do what? He will restore you. He will make you strong. He will support you and put you on your feet. And then he will set you up on a firm foundation. Father, we thank you so much for all that you've given to us. We thank you for your word. We thank you that this time it's going to be better the next time we get here. By this time next year, things are going to look better. As a matter of fact, by this time next week, I pray that someone's life be turned completely around. And Father, we love you. We give you all the praise. And we thank you for your grace that's upon our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you, my friends. Thank you for hanging out with me. I told you I won't be long. Just want to share a word during my time and your time.